was their answer to a D28 as Rose with the red spruce top. The one that Tim has is a model 5244, which was Washburn's answer to the D18. It's mahogany sides and back red spruce top. Um, and that one came, you had to buy it in a, in a shade top. They call it a shaded top like Martin did as well. They only made this particular kind of a, what we would today call it's a 14 fret kind of slope shoulder dreadnought. They only made them in that one year in this configuration, 1937. You'll see a few others later that were other different brands that came out somewhat similar. And we have um, another example coming up next that's also branded by Washburn but made, um, made by Gibson that's a totally different shape and such, but same model numbers for some reason, so they were a little bit goofy. But at the, in those days, really the top three brands in the late 30s that sold most and were the most popular and kind of rated as the top quality guitars were really Gibson, Martin, and Washburn. So these are two examples from 1937 of what we would think of it in Martin terms as a D28 and D18. And right after this, we're playing a 37 D28 and a 37 D18, two of really the best examples of that. So you can compare them with what the Washburns were like. Are these called X-braced? Yeah, they're X-braced, um, red spruce top, ebony fretboards on both um, mahogany and then rosewood back and sides of the two. This one. Fire strike for some reason. That's what the collectors these days call it. I don't know what it was. It only really? came, you know, that it was a late 30s Regal, if it comes with that pick card, even have a different name on it. It came out of the Regal factory. They're the only ones that had that pattern of uh, pick card. The same ones on Dale's, you can't see it as much because of the, the shade top kind of took the pop away from the, the natural spruce top underneath it. That's different from those Gibson fire strikes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, Ricky, uh, 
Yeah, both of those were both of these were made in the Regal factory for the Tom brothers in uh, 1937. <laughs>